truly no better time to wear my Game Theory shirt than for today's video. Sorry I look like crap, but don't I always? <laughs> oh, what, what what is this, you ask? Well, that's my, my Game Theory pin because I'm totally now part of the Game Theory squad. Oh my god. This is not a good intro, but we're gonna roll with it. In all seriousness though, guys, this is a really, really important video to make. And it's one that, honestly, has been long overdue. I gotta go back to see when it was actually uploaded. Let, let's see. October 26th. I uploaded the Every Easter Egg in Curse of Dreadbear video. And I did I'm just... I'm still absolutely amazed by how much support that video has gotten. It's currently sitting at 41,000... 208 views, 99 comments, and 963 likes. This is after the, uh, the, the, <clears throat> the <clears throat> game theory, but we're gonna, we're gonna get to that very shortly. To those people that are new to the channel, I do like to show you guys the analytics and all that stuff. I'm not gonna go too into it, because it's not really what this video is about, but if you look up all Curse of Dread by Easter Eggs, it's the first video to come up, which is just absolutely insane. First video to come up with Curse of Dreadbear Easter Eggs. Insane. Dreadbear Secrets. Dreadbear by itself. It's just, I still can't believe it. Now, I'm not entirely sure how accurate this is right here. I don't think it is accurate, because I'm... It's, it's gotta be way more. But at least 262 people subscribe, just because of that one video. And that's just insane. And again, I don't think that's accurate, because I was at, like, I think I just passed like 500 at the time, and then we just blew up. We went from 500 all the way to 8,000, so maybe this is accurate. Or not 8,000, Jesus, what's wrong with me? 500 to 800, like, just like that, within a few days, it was insane. And then 900, and then very recently 1,000, which is what this video is kind of all about. And then very recently, uh, you guys may have seen this over on Twitter, because I tweeted about it, but the FNAF Switch port screenshots, that video has been blowing up recently. Well, not blowing up like the Easter Eggs video has, but it's been getting a lot of attention. So much so that it might not be it now, but, um, ah, yeah, no, it went back down to number two. But if you had looked up Five Nights at Freddy's ports into YouTube, just, just that, it was the first thing that came up. And th again, that still is just crazy to me. So we're gonna return to uh, talk about Curse of Dreadbear Easter Eggs in a second, but I just want to talk about what we're really here to talk about. And that is the fact that the Johnny Blocks channel has now surpassed 1,000 subscribers. And that is just absolutely insane. And I hate to go into like, you know, money and monetization and stuff, but if you guys remember, in my one year on YouTube video, I was talking about that. And I was like, oh, you know, that'd be cool, but it's not a goal of mine. And here we are today. Something that I am able to do. Obviously, I gotta wait, like, a few months to uh, get it reviewed. But that's just insane. Something that, like, a year and a half ago, I was saying, I don't think we would do that. And that I think it would be cool to do that, but I didn't think we were actually going to do it. And now, here we are actually freaking doing it. It's just absolutely insane. Oh my god. I just... I don't believe it. I really don't. And then, to top it all off, to top off today, MadPad released a game theory. Now, I was originally going to be doing a reaction to it, as I normally do with FNAF game theories, but ju based off of the title and the thumbnail, I knew, um... That it was on something that we were already aware of, you know, Vanny and her presence within the franchise and the cult of Glitchtrap. So I was like, I already know about that. I don't think it's really important to do a reaction to it. But it just so happens, and if you guys have seen the theory, you know what I'm talking about. It just so happens that I was featured in game theory. And I'm not even saying, like, you know, a picture of me popped up for a few seconds. No, MatPat showed the Curse of Dreadbear Secrets video twice, showed the, the logo of the channel, and said the n name of the channel directly. 
and you know we can do a bit of a reaction to it even though I have already seen it but I was freaking the freak out I was screaming I was jumping up and down uh, I ran downstairs to my brother I was like bro you won't believe this and he was just lying on the couch watching TV because uh, you know he had a he came home late last night so he was just chilling for today and he was like what what is it and I was like I was in a game theory and then you know he jumped right up on the couch he's like what so yeah we showed him we freaked out I called loads of my friends I tweeted about it. I posted it on Instagram and it's just oh my god so much has happened today that feels like changed my life forever it's just it's crazy Feels like this day has gone on for so long, there's been so many awesome things that have happened. And you know, because of the game theory, a few more people have subscribed. Um, uh, today we started out at like 998, and now we're, as I'm recording this, 1012, which is, again, it's just... Oh, it's unbelievable. I, 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 oh my god, I can't put it into words. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so, so much. So, um, yeah, I'll pull up the game theory right now. It's just... My god, it's crazy. Actually, before we get into the reaction, quickly, I do want to point this out because it is absolutely amazing. Uh, Matt, Lewis, and Mark are doing something that's absolutely insane. And I just want to talk about it for a little bit because, again, it is really, really awesome. On December 3rd, they're going to be doing a charity live stream for St. Jude's to hashtag cancel cancer, as it says right here. Now apparently Scott is making a dedicated FNAF game for this stream and I think that's really really awesome, I think it's really really sweet of him to do and I think it's amazing to see three, four, and just thousands of people come together in the FNAF community to do something this amazing. Um, there's been a lot of sadness within the FNAF community because of um, Skylo's passing a week or two ago, and so I think this is the type of thing we need right now is to all come together like we did with Skylo's passing and the book that um, Direct Doggo made with the community. And I think this is going to be just something absolutely incredible. Scott said on Twitter, or not on Twitter, sorry, he said on Reddit that he was going to be donating half a million dollars, which, you know, people call Scott greedy for. Control C and Control V in his games, and then he goes out and does stuff like this. His past few games that he has made have been 100% free. Pizza Sim, Custom Night, and this game, which is going to be on Game Joel, uh, we will be playing it on the channel. All of those have been completely free, and it's just amazing to see him donating such a large amount of money out of his own pockets. To something like this so um yeah sorry to talk on uh so much about this topic but it is really really important so december 3rd it's going to be on the game theorist channel so if you can make it please uh, i recommend you do watch it i uh, i think it's on a tuesday though yeah it's on a tuesday so depending on what time it's at hopefully it's uh not too too early because you know people got school and people got work so um yeah if you can make it i would really it would just be amazing to see is what i'm trying to say anyways let's move on <laughs> i honestly still cannot believe that i'm in a freaking game theory and you know what to all those haters of my reaction to game theory he's like oh, he hates madpad how can he say stuff like this look where we are now haters featured in it twice called out directly and when it comes to Easter eggs, I'm not just talking about one or two things here. Whether it was the FNAF 4 house perched high on a hill in the background, hey. trick-or-treating, and an animatronic... Uh, look at that! You guys can see my face cam because I'm blocking I'm it, just talking about one or two ironically, with my face FNAF cam. But it is my video. You can see every Easter egg in Curse of Dreadbear, exclamation point. Five Nights at Freddy's Real Help Wanted by Johnny Blocks on YouTube. Ooh, thank you, Matt. <laughs> uh, and then we skip a little bit farther, and we get... Something absolutely incredible. I still- oh my god. I'm, I might just let it play out, um, and then we can go back and talk about it. Scott, don't do coincidences. It's also worth noting that I've seen one <laughs> channel Johnny Blocks that has oh! three clown pictures in the <laughs> After throwing a dart at each one, the barn suddenly switched over to rave mode. 
black lights on for the party, becoming possessed by Golden Freddy. We can tell that as evidenced by the his knee banner hanging over the top. My of the God! Bar. Now I can't confirm whether this is real because it is the only play I've seen been able to do this, and also <laughs> spawning three clown pictures randomly. It took me like an hour to do that, so uh. Ones. And also, yeah. it strikes me as weird because from a lore perspective. I just, oh, it's it's been so eventful today, boys, and this is just absolutely incredible. You know, been watching Matt basically since FNAF came out. I think it was around uh, the FNAF 2 era when he was like, you are the monster. Uh, I think that's when I really got into it, and I've been watching him ever since then. Um, and it's, just, it's, it's such a milestone, honestly. When you think about people in the FNAF community, you know, they have certain milestones. Uh, you know, like meeting Scott and maybe beating a really difficult challenge, like 50-20 or something. You never really think about getting into game theory, which is just... It is an awesome milestone, it's just one you don't think about, and it's one that I'm proud of. I can say that I'm part of game theory, even though I'm not, I was just featured in it. But I, I think that's absolutely incredible. So, again, not only does he show the video twice... He notes that this is the, he's, first of all, he notes that he's seen it, which is just kind of, it makes me nervous to think about that someone as high up as MadPad has seen my video. Um, he then calls out the channel directly, Johnny Blocks that have pronounces it correctly, which I'm honestly surprised about, um, and then shows the, the logo, like that's so, it hits you right here, man. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm spo sporting all my Game Theory merchandise, even though it's really not much. So, uh, yeah, for all those people saying that I hate MadPat, well, <laughs> look at me now. We're practically best friends, aren't we? Now, as you guys may or may not be aware of, especially for all these newcomers, I do love to do videos celebrating certain milestones. I did one for every hundred uh, subscribers 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Um, and then, you know, 6 through 900, I didn't get to do just because there was so much stuff happening. Not only were we growing at such an unbelievable rate f uh, that I couldn't even keep up myself, but then we also had, for example, the Curse of Dreadbear Secrets, Curse of Dreadbear itself, and more recently, you know, um, that baby gamer sent me a a uh, special demo for Ultimate Nintendo Night 2, which, as far as I'm aware, I was like the only person on YouTube to get that, which is just crazy, so I had to get that out. And then we started getting all the FNAF AR things, and I am meaning to do an update video on that, because quite a few things have happened, so yeah, um, expect that soon, probably tomorrow or something. So, um, yeah, there was just so much stuff happening, and then I just didn't have time such a bad excuse I didn't no no I don't even need these it's just a bad excuse that I didn't have time um, because it's something I should do more often is thank you guys for you know all of this stuff I'm not good at this maybe that's why I haven't been doing it I'm just not good at things look I haven't even changed the whiteboard I just realized that oh my god what is wrong with me there we go, 1,000 subs. You can't really read it, but it's fine. So, um, yeah, I don't want this video to drag on for too much longer. So, as final thoughts, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for, you know. It's only been two and a half years, and we're already at 1,000 subs. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you imagine just how many people are out there on YouTube, how many channels there are, and the odds of someone finding me, the odds of someone finding me is just so, so low. And the fact that they not only found me, but also liked the channel and the content so much that they subscribed. That's just absolutely incredible. And then timesing that by a thousand. And then some. So it's just... It's crazy to think about. It really is. And I am working on a secret project. I mentioned this over on Twitter, that if we hit a thousand before the end of the week, which we- oh no, the start of next week, sorry, so by Monday, I would release a teaser for this project, and I am working on the teaser, I am working on the project, it is the, uh, 1000 sub special. Originally I wanted it to be something else, but then I had this new idea for something, and I've just been 
working on that ever since. In fact, I'm probably going to work on a bit more of it after I make this video, so uh, yeah. Stay on the lookout for the teaser, it's going to be on my Instagram and my Twitter, <laughs> which is linked down below. Obviously, don't forget to use my supporter creator code, because I can now have one of those. I actually have no clue how to get one of those. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for a thousand subs. I'm absolutely flattered to be uh, <laughs> featured in Game Theory. Again, I just thank you guys so, so much for the support over the past month in particular. Like I said, the freaking uh, Easter eggs for Curse of Dreadbear was released what, 20 days ago, if it was on the 26th, and we, like, more than doubled our sub count, and that's just, oh, I can't wrap my head around it, it's, it's unbelievable, but I guess what I'm trying to say here is just thank you guys so, so much, um, I really, really hope you guys do enjoy the, uh, the channel and the con, con, the content, I nearly said the comments. <laughs> And it's not just you guys as well. I also had loads of my friends comment, or not comment, god, why do I keep wanting to say comment? I had loads of my friends text me today like, you know, congrats on a thousand subs, or, you know, congrats on making it into game theory. And it's just, damn, my friends are the best. <laughs> not insulting any of your guys' friends, but honestly, I just, I love my friends so much. In a non-gay way, I love my friends so, so much. They're absolutely incredible, and I just, I can't wish for better friends, and I can't wish for a better audience. So, thanks everyone so much for watching, thanks for the thousandth time for the support, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.